Maybe you want to chill by the fire, all right, or maybe you want to chill out by the pool. Either way, this home up here in Sky Canyon, ton of amazing features, all right, massive, massive home that we're going to walk into. I got a lot of cool things to show you, as well as the upstairs balcony and the views up there. Can't wait for you guys to check this one out. Guys, are you ready to check out this gorgeous Spanish contemporary looking home here in Sky Canyon? Let's come check it out. This is in the Valera collection by Toll Brothers in Sky Canyon. This is the Carini model, as I said, Spanish contemporary. Carini, that's a nice name. It is a nice name. Sounds like a, a nice cocktail from Europe somewhere. As you walk in, you've got a nice sort of foyer area that leads down to the great room. We're gonna check that out next but we're going to go this way i'll let ryan quickly go over this for you just so that we can cover our bases here everything you see in this home is not available as an option as we see down here on the bottom section okay if you're coming from one of the other videos that you just saw in this community you can see here take a screenshot pause it these are not available as options up here these are available as options as we can see right there all right now let's go you come into a bedroom right next to uh, the front of the home. It does have a bathroom, full-size bathroom with a walk-in shower. Okay. And then you have a decent-sized bedroom with uh, a decent closet there as well. Ryan, dimensions, what would you say? I would say probably about 11 by 12. Nothing great. This is about a queen-size bed here, so nothing huge or massive, but could be utilized as an office space. Definitely got a good size room here right in the front of the home. I think definitely as an office space with its own bathroom, I think that could definitely work and it's away from everything else in the house. Definitely could, but if you need it as a bedroom, then yes, by all means, guest bedroom. Then you come across this way, you have another full size, no, sorry, a half a bathroom there. Check this one out here real quick. Okay, oh, interesting how the toilet is kind of over here on the left, how it spins around. Nice accent wall touches in the back. That mirror does seem kind of small. I feel like I'm almost taller than that mirror, uh, which is interesting. I didn't notice that as I'm so short, Ryan. Yeah, well, you don't notice much down there. <laughs> there we come across into the great room area. Really long area. It's got a great living part of it. This is a really good size. Again, they haven't done anything fancy with the accent wall. They've kept it simple, but you can see the sort of size of the space. It's great for a family room area. Definitely, it goes all the way back there, one big long rectangle. If you've seen any other videos, you know what he is about to say. He is not a fan of this layout because it goes in one just line. Kitchen, dining, living area. Pete likes them all sectioned and separate. I stole his part, he doesn't need to tell you. If you've already seen them, you've already know. And um, again, I wanna point out that this is a built-in carpet. So you can see there, I can't pull this up and shift it. It's built in there. This is something that Toll Brothers does as an option if you would like it. And you can see too that it's not the entire living area. It's just a smaller portion or section. Um, now he's like, I don't know what I'm gonna say. He took well, you, it from you me. You stole my thunder. I might as well just pack up and go back home to Henderson, Ryan. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll leave you to see the video out. Guys, it was a pleasure. See you soon. <laughs> What's interesting too with this design is um, you got the carpet here again like that with the table. Again, a lot of these new builders, there is a spot for it, but they don't put in, a lot of them won't put in a chandelier. They kind of leave it open for interpretation of how you would like to design your layout for this entire great room area. And then after that, you do come into the kitchen. You've got a good size island with the waterfall effect on the countertops. You got your uh, sink and dishwasher this side. Notice that the cabinets aren't going all the way up. They haven't put their uppers in. Um, obviously that would be a design feature you could have. They are quite tall cabinets um, in terms of um, obviously the inside, but I would prefer personally to have the uppers. Let's see if it is. Oh, it is. Gentle close there. Yeah, Gentle we got a nice soft there. close there. I like the side uh, size, sorry, of the countertops. It's nice uh, going all the way down. You got your gas burner as well. Definitely, and you got the nice range hood. I know what you mean too, like if the cabinets just went all the way up, then we wouldn't have to worry about getting up there and collecting dust and cleaning that off, but definitely gonna have to. You can see we got the gas stove as usual. We haven't seen a new home as of yet. And guys, we've done over a hundred of these videos for you. 
Um, nice granite sort of dark sink there, but we haven't seen any electric stoves. So just keep that in mind. Appliance wise, all right, which washer dryer or dryer, excuse me. Wish washer, what's a wish washer? What's a wish washer? <laughs> I have no idea what your wish washer is. We might have those in the UK. That's what um, you just here we go it. with the microwave and the oven guys. All right, and then we got the nice little feature right here with the island, all right. Your garage would be um, there and you just have a little, they've put a little built-in sort of cabinet space there as well, which would be great mm -hmm. to put your keys and whatever yeah. else in. Exactly what they're trying to show you there with that, okay. You have a flex space here. Um, they've obviously got it set up as an office area, really good size, space-wise. It's nice, it's at the, the back of it. I would probably have this maybe I'd have it more open and have this as my dining area and, and the living area maybe a bit further back, but you know, I'm not gonna preach about that too much because Ryan's already told you I just don't like it being that way, but you could use this as whatever space you want. So what you don't know is Pete is actually a therapist and that's why that chair is like that. And if you guys need any help, he can help me. I'm just kidding. Uh, but that's what it looks like it's set up for in a way. Nice built-ins back here, got the TV. It almost does look like a therapist office though. It, I mean, I know they got BMW motors there, but I don't know why I have their reclined chair unless somebody's gonna lay back and take a nap. Um, but really cool, again, when you see the things going on in this home, like the beams, you got the black beams going across the top. Again, design features for you guys to consider, you know, when you get to that design portion, because you reached out to us and you said, I love those homes. I don't like what they did with that one. I'd like to start with my own and come up with my own color schemes and go through the design studio. Outside, we have a really good sized uh, covered patio area, plenty of space for outside entertainment. You can see what they've done with this one with the pool. Obviously, Ryan's already said it's not gonna come with the pool, but you can sort of see with the size what you can do. I love the, the fireplace over here that, that's going on. That's really aesthetically pleasing. Definitely, if they didn't have those nets right there. I'd definitely be jumping in. Here we go. This is a really cool setup. Again, got the fire pit right there. Got a little turf area if you got the little dogs, you know, and they need a place to go handle their business. Here we go, just give you another look. So what you will see is a pool right here. We will talk about that when we talk to you guys about pricing. Um, but there is that pool and give you guys some of those mountain views too. All right. And I just got sunburned being out here for two seconds. Let's go ahead and head back <laughs> in. Very nice though, very nice space utilization. Again, not a lot of turf. You saw the little patch that I showed you. Um, but again, guys, low maintenance as far as grass goes. Uh, let's go take a look upstairs. We shall go take a look upstairs. <laughs> Upstairs, guys, I just want to mention something important to you. If you are going to be looking at new homes and new construction, it's important to bring your realtor with you on your first visit just to make sure that they can represent you on the transaction and make sure that your interests are going to be centered on uh, the focal point. If it is us, then I'd love to help you on that. If not, and you have a different realtor, then you know I wish you all the best, but just make sure they come to that first appointment with you. Definitely look and make sure you have representation, okay. We come into the loft area. This is a really nice size loft area. I love the windows on this side, bringing in so much light. And it's real homely, really snug. I love the design features that they've got going on. I feel like you could wall this off and make this another bedroom. Like this is, because it's, it's that big. It really is. This thing is gotta be 20 feet that way, really big. But I like what they've done to it too. You know, you got the built-ins back there you got the tv they got the chalkboard over here which is really cool kids love drawing on the walls right <laughs> what makes them happier than drawing on the walls coloring on the walls with crayons <laughs> um but yes great loft space right here again this is the front of the home out this window and these windows bringing in a ton of light let me give you another angle over here all right big sectional in here too so again these ideas give, give me a lot of ideas for my home but you they do have do your um, your laundry room here as well with the sink. There we 
go. Just note that your dryer will most likely be hooked up to gas. So if you are buying new appliances, just ensure that it is uh, going to be a gas dryer. Definitely. Gas, you, gas, gas. Come across this way. We have a, another bedroom here. What would you say dimensions wise on this one, Ryan? All right, so our rectangle, long this way, short this way. I would say that you're looking at probably 13 or 14 this way, and then probably around 11 or 12 this way. Um, just roll with it, is what the picture says. Just roll, with it. Says. Just roll I, with it. Does have actually a good size walk-in closet there as well. Yeah, let's go check this out. And again, this is the front of the home. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at there. All right. A couple of big windows bringing in a lot of light as well. You know, nice, very simple, uh, but very nice, right? Doesn't always have to be cluttered and, and too much happening. Into the next room, now this is a very bright one with the amount of windows bringing in a lot of light as well. Dimensions on this one, Ryan, what would you say? I would say it's about the same, I mean, as the other one, just more, we're going this way, right, on this side. So I'd say it's about the same. You got a full-size bed right here, too, with the end tables or nightstands. We got the zoo um, of the world out there on the wall. It's got again, a slider closet as well. Yeah, simple, but nicely done, nicely designed. Again, they got some cool things. Every time we do these guys, I, put, I try to point out these cool things. I almost want to know where they get some of these things. <laughs> um, it's like, man, where do they get this stuff? But very cool. We do have a full-size bathroom, twin vanity uh, with a bathtub here as well. There we go. We got the full tub. Got the dark navy blue tile going up the side. Nice texture feel. Got the black finishes right here. Very nice. Coming into this one, this has its own private bathroom here with a uh, tub as well. Wow, there's a lot of towel racks in here too. <laughs> and then this would be another another bedroom. Hold on, he's, he's trying to speed me up over here. Ah, there we go. So the nursery has its own bathroom. Interesting, with six towel hangers. <laughs> That's I interesting. Very interesting. This baby takes a lot of showers with a lot of towels. Well, um, you know, just, babies do need quite a lot of baths when they are filling Apparently those wears leather coats and is a rock star. <laughs> Mr. Everett James, whoever you might be. I hope you guys watching these get my sense of humor. Um, I, Pete gives me free reign, and when he does that, I'd start to just go on tangents. Um, but very nicely done there, too. Again, a standard size room, uh, not massive, not too cluttered. And you saw how they had it designed for a nursery. Now we're gonna take the tour all the way back around to the primary suite. And then into the, into the primary bedroom, it's another really nice size. Ryan, what would you say on this one? You gotta be going 20 by 18, something along those dimensions. Um, not a perfect square, more elongated this way than this way. This way would be a little bit more shorter, but yeah, I'd say, I mean, you got fake plants and chairs in your room. You got plenty of space <laughs> along with this big gap between the end table um, and the wall there. So yeah, this is just a lot, a lot of space. Now in this neighborhood or in this area um, of Valera or up here with Toll Brothers, as Pete just twiddles around with that door, I think um, locked it. they locked it probably for safety reasons, but this is the first one that we've seen that has a balcony off of the primary suite, right? Overlooking the pool and again, give you more mountain views. Those are the North Mountains over there. Give you some peekaboo views of the city back there as well. Then you come into your into your primary bathroom. You have a private toilet there. You have a really good sized walk-in closet here. Oh, my shirt. I left it here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, this thing wraps around. Wow, nice. Big, big walk-in closet. It is a big walk-in closet. And then you have your walk-in shower. I love the design feature and I love the tile work that's going on there. And I love the rain head shower. I mean, I'm a yes. big fan of that. This is the first one that we've seen that they put the rain head shower in. Love, love that. That's very cool. Love that they have that added feature. Again, just sort of boxed in the corner, but very nicely done. They probably could have extended it and just left this as the walk-in part. But I like what they've done here as well with that too. Yeah, I would have preferred it extended, but I'm sure that will be an option that you can do. And then you can see they've got your twin vanity there. They've got the same tile going up as they do in the shower, and it's a, it's a good size. Very good size. Love the countertop here. Just a different flavor right here. Something different. And these mirrors, though, they're kind of small. Like when I was back here and looking at it while you were talking, like, 
they just look there's so much wall there but not so much mirror could have put a bigger mirror in there i guess when you're closer up though using it maybe yeah and negates it it's a design thing i mean it's not like it's a make or break right not a make or break deal just something interesting to point out there's a lot of wall there for that so that is the home guys you've seen the entire home now i'm sure you're interested in how much this home will cost with everything that we just saw let's go ahead and talk about that All right, the section you've been waiting for where we're gonna talk about prices of this home because that's obviously one of the biggest factors. You probably love the home, but how much does this thing cost, right? So we just toured the Carini model, right? In the Modern Craftsman, okay? And the layout is the Carini. The design was the Modern Craftsman. It was actually okay. the Spanish Contemporary, Ryan. Oh, it was the Spanish Contemporary. That's right, the Modern Craftsman was the other one, which reminds me that at the end of this video, we're gonna have these videos pop up for you. You just gotta go touch it right there and then you can start watching the other ones in this community, okay? So Spanish contemporary, excuse me, of the Carini. Um, what are we looking at with pricing of the So Carini? if we're looking at this one, the Spanish contemporary version of the Carini, um, as it um, stands, the base price right now in June 2024 is gonna be 675,000. The other options that you have, the modern craftsman is gonna be a base price of 680,000. And then the modern farmhouse, which is my personal favorite, is going to be a base price of 685000 So that's just the base price. That's before any of the different upgrades and things have been chosen. If you were looking for one that was maybe um, close to being completed or moving ready, or maybe you wanted to be able to choose some options, maybe in the design studio, not worried about structure options, they do have a, a Carini Spanish Contemporary like this one that is going to be ready in the winter of this year. And that's going to be priced at around 790000 So just to bear in mind. And one of the things we were told um, by the sales agent here is that actually that the models are going to be going on sale tomorrow. There you go. So available tomorrow. So today at the time of this recording, we recorded this on June 14th. Okay. We even had some of our viewers here while we were recording, uh, which was pretty cool. But tomorrow, June 15th, the models become available. So if you loved this model, everything about this model, the pool, everything will be here. They're not going to take out the pool when you move in. That'll be here. All right. That becomes available for tomorrow, which is why you got to reach out with that information right there on your screen. Okay. Now, HOAs, HOAs, SIDS, we gotta talk about these things, okay? So HOAs, Sky Canyon HOA, we're gonna see everything here um, later on in this video that it comes with, but what are we looking at with fees with the Sky Canyon HOA? Yeah, so every home in Sky Canyon is part of the Sky Canyon master plan community, so then it has a master plan fee. That's $84 a month. We're gonna show you, as Ryan said, everything that's included in that, some of those amazing amenities. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of those amenities are. And then also, because we are in a gated community, you have a sub-association fee as well. So that's going to be $75 a month. And then with that as well, you're going to have a pool within this community as well. I believe Ryan showed it a little bit earlier. Just, um, just actually at the rear of this home, there's a, a pool for everyone in this community to use as well. That's covered with your 75 as well as being in a gated community. So overall, you're paying $159 a month and it is paid quarterly. Um, so yeah, all in all, I think it's pretty good. And just so you know, like not every sub community or every gated community, like I live in a gated community up here, we do not have a pool inside of our community. Toll Brothers is offering that as part of the communities that they are building up here in Sky Canyon. So just keep that in mind um, when you have your master HOA and the master community center and HOA pool and stuff like that. And then inside of this community, Valera or Paloma, you will have that pool. All right. so. Now we got to talk about SIDS or LIDS, SIDS, Special Improvement Districts. If you haven't heard the, uh, anything or seen any other videos, SIDS is essentially the nutshell version is you repaying the city for building the infrastructure of the community. What are we looking at for the SID assessment? So it's going to be something you pay twice a year. You're going to pay $360 twice a year, and then the payoff amount is going to be $8,000. So once you hit $8,000, then that's it. You don't pay that $360 again. It's done. 
and then also if you sell the home with still some balance left on it, it'll just transfer to the new owner. You don't need to worry about paying it off before you sell the home. Yep, we both inherited a SIDS payment because we are second owners of a home that were built in a community that did have a SID assessment. So there you go, we gave you the price, you saw the home, now we gotta show you Sky Canyon. The great things about living in Sky Canyon is the whole community that goes on. There's a real sense of community here in Sky Canyon. It's got a great community center. And where we're standing in right now is the main park within Sky Canyon. I'm gonna throw it over to Ryan because he lives in this area so he can tell you everything that's going on and you'll hear about it all from a local. So Ryan, what can you tell me? Yeah, directly from the, the Sky Canyon local here. So it is a bit noisy. We got landscaping going on and we got construction going on. I'll explain that in just a second. I'm gonna spin around and I'll show you guys everything here too. So behind us is the big open field. You see we got people playing some soccer or some football back here in the pitch. All right, <laughs> if you're tracking any of our other videos, you, you'll get the joke. Um, but yeah, we got some people playing in that, right? We got some basketball courts over here and some kids there. There's two parks. So this is a public park, all right? Some of it. Some of it is public and then some of it is private. So this field and all this is public. This playground over here with no fence around it is public. But if you wanted to go to the private part where basically residents with your key card can get in. That is this park right here. We can use our key card, we can get into that gate. And then the private access is to the fitness center, which is over here. This is gonna be your fitness center with the glass. We got the splash pad and the pool right behind it. And then this private playground. Uh, the other building on the other side is the lodge, the hangout area. And that's also where the coffee shop is, Aspire Coffee. Now back to it. What's going on here with all this construction? So these, some of these newer communities that they're finishing up over here, brand new homes at the time of this filming, what they're doing is they're creating more of a local path, a jogging path, walking path, um, more fitness stuff along the way while you're going for a jog, you can stop. There's pull up bars, there's other things. And what they're doing is they're moving all the rocks and all the dirt and they're gonna create a nice path that goes around and through the neighborhoods or between the neighborhoods, and it comes directly down here to the park. So that's happening at the time of this recording, depending on when you watch it, it may already be done. But a lot of things happening here. Again, this is one of the big draws for us as far as being a family. We have kids, we have the pool, the splash pad, all these parks. This field on a Saturday is filled with during soccer season or football, whatever it is, this thing is filled, all right? There's basketball practices that go on here. So if you are a family and that's something that, you know, starts to check your boxes like I did mine and we can't steer you in any way. I'm just telling you as a family, this was one of the biggest draws for us is this is part of your HOA fees, which we're going to dive into. All right. But the HOA fees this is part of it. This is part of what you're paying for with the big umbrella Sky Canyon HOA. So good place, right? Looks cool. Well, I think it's fantastic. I mean, I love it anytime I'm up here. Any excuse to, to come up here and film or show homes. Oh, I yeah. just loved it. It just feels, it doesn't feel like Vegas up here. No. Even though we are under a Las Vegas zip code, it just doesn't feel Vegas. It just feels really nice, suburban, peaceful, yep. really tranquil up here. And I, I just love as a parent myself, I just love when we're in these parks and see kids and families enjoying them. And every time we're in this park, there's always someone always. out there having fun. So I'm a big, big fan of the Sky Canyon area. Always is. And guys, just to touch on schools really quick uh, while we're talking about communities. So in the back corner of Sky Canyon, there's a public charter school that does do a lottery draw and a wait list. Um, we have to enter our kids in it as well. So there's a public charter school. It's the Somerset Academy system. There's two different elementary schools if you have youngins, all right? And that's gonna be Henry Bozarth, all right, or Divich. Those are two schools you can definitely look up on greatschools.org, check out their reviews. Sky Canyon is really the place that you're looking at and you're on Facebook. There's a Sky Canyon Facebook group too. It's called Sky Canyon Neighbors where people ask a ton of questions, um, get you know resources, people to help them with whatever renovations, things like that. So definitely something you could check out. Okay guys, so we're gonna do something a little bit different for you guys right now. You know we like to try and showcase the areas as much as the home, because that's so important in the decisions that you are making. So we're gonna, I'm gonna throw it over to Ryan because we are standing in the middle of a parking lot and I wanna know why are we in this parking lot, Ryan? Well, we got a lot to show you here with this parking lot. All right, it's not just a parking lot. This is the shopping center and all the things that we always tell you guys about. So we're always telling you about 
what you're getting with that community because you may love that home, but is it the right fit? Is it the right location? Does it have nearby what you may need? So I'm gonna spin around here and show you guys a little bit of these things behind me um, here in just a second, but this isn't just a grocery, this is an entire shopping center. So back here, all right, and this side of the shopping center, there's places to eat, there's hair salons. Actually, my barber is right over there because I live in the area. Dental, all right, as I come around this way some more, we're gonna have a vet, all right, the vet hospital where I take my dogs. The ER where I take my son, all right? So like everything is right here and that's what makes it more convenient for you. We always talk about Smith's. We got the big Smith's right here. This is the one that I always tell you guys is like a Whole Foods. This thing is the bar inside, the places that you can go grab a quick bite to eat and the full on grocery store. One side of it's almost like Walmart. They sell Carhartt in there and all that other crazy stuff too. Gas station and as I keep spinning around, there's just lots of really cool local businesses here too. I was just telling Pete how good Omelette Cafe is back there. Omelette Cafe, really, really good breakfast. Owner's always in there, nice guy. So again, we just wanted to show you guys what it really has. So when we tell you like, there's a lot here. Uh, what was it? Some people don't think that there's actually businesses up yeah, here. They think that it's just homes and mountains and we have nothing. Speaking of mountains back there, right? Snow, snow capped mm -hmm. on the mountains. But there is a lot going on up here. There's a lot of development. Even back on that other side, there's another new shopping center happening. There's a Dutch Bros, a McDonald's. There's gonna be a bunch of other things over there. I think there's massage, cool things happening. And then there's new apartment developments. There's so much happening up here in Sky Canyon. We got so much more to show you guys. Also, Ryan, one of the things I always hear about the Sky Canyon area is that although it's beautiful and gorgeous, it's just too far away from everything. It's just too far away from the strip and the airport. What can you say about that? So we always talk about access to the 215 and the 95 being one of the things that can help you get around the city, right? If you live 15 minutes from it, then that's going to obviously add on to your drive. So here in Sky Canyon in this shopping center as I spin around. So the main intersection back there, right over there, um, on the other side of that Starbucks actually, is going to take you to the 95. You go right through there, you'll be on the 95. So if you live in Sky Canyon, the 95 is going to be within five minutes roughly depending on how deep you are but not that bad and then if we go that way all right another five to ten minutes you can be on the 215 you're going to be right there near centennial hills high school and another shopping center with an albertson's and a bunch of other cool things dog groomers all that stuff so the 215 roughly 10 minutes away the 95 literally five minutes that way so freeway access really easy to get around we get to downtown like we can get to downtown where you know at main street and the circa and all that is within 20 minutes because of that 95 being right there it's literally a straight shot the strip is going to be about 30 minutes from here uh, again pretty much a, a straight shot you get off on 76 and then you're heading right to this strip so really easy to get around airport same thing 30 to 35 minutes so there you have it 95 is right there great freeway access up here in sky canyon We have so many other videos on our channel. We've been around the entire Las Vegas Valley. Let me show you real quick. Here's the channel right here. So if you click and you do go to our main screen over here, you can see that there is our entire channel. And then as we go, we got one playing right there. If you click on this one right here, videos, you click on that guys, look, you're gonna see our entire library. So you can come in and you can do our latest, popular, oldest. You can scroll down. You can see all the videos there, all right? If you wanna go back to our homepage, right there on the homepage, we have it broken down by area, so maybe you're specific to 
know Henderson and you want to see only homes in Henderson guys just like that all these homes in Henderson that we've seen all right there's Summerlin and we've been all around the valley there's the northwest which is going to encompass you know Sky Canyon Sunstone Sky Hill Centennial Hills so if you go to our channel right there you're going to be able to see all of our content and you can go in and you can just check out any home that you like right there was that one playing right there it's all there on the channel for you guys and don't forget to reach out however you're comfortable whenever you're ready because we got your back.